And uh, here we go. Let's play pickleball. Point. Going to see a lot of middle dinks here. One zero two. Big play from J.W. Johnson. Next to no motion with the way that J.W. Johnson plays, he contacts the Zero ball one at such one. a low point. Second serve. Point. I think we had a missed call there accidentally by our referee, so we'll get that one sorted one, one. out. One thought one, there. One, yeah, just <laughs> no need for that probably right there, but tried it. And Colin Johns is just, he knows, he studied this matchup so much, he just dares you to attack, and you're like, I want to attack the older one, one, brother. One. And his counters are terrific. That entire series changed when the ball skidded off that kitchen one, line one, and Colin couldn't control the dink. Side out. Such good hands from Dylan Frazier. One, one, one. Second serve. Interesting tournament for J.W. Johnson. Georgia taking this one, one off. One, She's two. perfectly healthy. Um, so did not play mixed. Side out. But you'd think there's a lot of other ladies that would have loved to play with one of the best mixed doubles partners you could ever want. One, one, one. Absolutely. Second serve. So with the drives, the Johns brothers are running into problems because that one, first one, volley is so good from the other side. Johnson speeds it up first. Yeah, and you saw Colin Johnson get into scorpion position one, one, on the one. shot before it, but it went to Ben Johnson, then he was out of position, and those attacks from J.W. Johnson are just lethal. And when do you ever see Ben Johns behind in the I formation, not sure which side to cover. Two one one. That's a great 
couple of plays from Dylan Frazier. There's his ability on the right side to take over. from Johnson and Frazier. Yeah, and anything that uh, J.W. Johnson can take out of the Three air, one. that is going to be a problem. Uh, right there, just forget about it. Second serve. Oh, they tried the touchdown. Uh, <laughs> please <laughs> give me that special willpower. Didn't work. the hand power and this hand speed of Ben Johns going down the line on Dylan Frazier. One, three, one. Funneling the ball to the J.W. Johnson backhand on the dink, throw some in the middle. Off the bounce, Dylan Frazier on the forehand is dangerous, so you won't see many over there unless it's a penetrating dink. Second serve. Yeah, that's what Colin wants, because he can see the speed up coming. Just couldn't get the paddle face closed. Two, three, two. If you had seats on the side of the court, your neck is probably hurting from trying to track that back and forth three, three, so two. fast. Side out. Three, three, one. J.W. Johnson. Yeah, and that's when you fully understand your partner. Colin slides, Ben three, three, fills two. the middle. Go ahead, we dare you to speed it up. Point. And when Frazier crashes the kitchen, so the role is clear for Colin Johns on his side as the right side player. Four, three, what two. would you establish as the role for Frazier in this partnership with Johnson in a moment? I mean, same idea. J Dub doesn't play as much court as Ben does, so there's it's a little different from that standpoint. But attack off the bounce, three, two. counter with those great hands, find some offense. So he has a little more offense initiating, but very similar in idea here. from J.W. Johnson. And Ben was not happy with how that came off the paddle there. He thought he had this. 6-3-2.
can't love that point from J.W. Johnson more. Top spin lob off the, off the bounce there was perfect. Then a little inside out forehand playing great. Side out. Okay, so a little uh, scoreboard pressure on the Johns brothers here. Let's see how they react to it. Three, seven, one. They look horrified. <laughs> Well, as both teams will admit, not the most exciting brand of pickleball Four, seven, one. on both sides because they're so patient. Yep. When we get to the speed ups, they're world class. Second fun serve. that there was a rule that you, after three dings, you have to speed it up. <laughs> Four, seven, two. There may be a day. Oh, yeah. new shot that J.W. Johnson has added a little more aggressive dink by going to the two-handed backhand dink. The challenge with that sometimes is it travels too far Five, right seven, into the two. wheelhouse of Ben Johns there. Side out. Seven, five, one. Second serve. Seven five two. Point. Johnson and Fraser up by three. Eight, five two. In the closing distance of game one. Side out. It's a good first volley from Ben Johns because I like the position that Dylan Frazier had there. Five eight one. So there's the two handed backhand again. So when you're adding a new shot, Michelle, to your game, you will lose confidence in using it if you've missed a couple. Six, eight, one. Johnson finds the tape. It's Ben Johns out of rhythm, yeah. shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, not happy at all there because they feel Six, like, eight, you know, they can work their way all the way back here, but the tape said no right there. Class hands on full display that point. Yeah, just the strategic choices that both teams make because they trust the hand so much. So all those dink rallies, they are slower points, but they are very well thought out points. And uh, it's impressive that both teams can have that discipline in the moment.
862. We're going to get a return in the middle of the court here. Just wide for Ben Johns on the ATP there. Point. 962. So we have a missed ATP on one side and the dreaded HTP that hit the post. Uh, ATP stands for around the post for those of you new and we appreciate to close the three point gap Time on in. Dylan Frazier and JW Johnson. Frustration from Ben Johns there Six, as he nine, took two. the big swing from a step or two behind the line. Point. And Johns owns the hand battle there. Seven nine two. Side out. Colin can't use the willpower either, so they only get one out of that uh, timeout. Nine, seven, one. Johnson all over it, and game point goes to the two seed. In their fourth meeting with the Johns Ten brothers on Championship Sunday this season. Oh, oh Ben Johns. I mean, that's going to hit the video board, but uh, got. Ten, seven, tiger first. <laughs> the tiger. J.W. Johnson closes out game one, 11-7. Goes to the two seat. Really impressed with these two. They care if you know it's zero, coming, zero, can two. you handle it? And Frazier and Johnson just terrific in game score. number one. Zero, zero, two. Frazier just a half second late. Yeah, that was a very sudden scorpion attempt <laughs> and zero, uh, zero, just wasn't on balance. And John speeds it up. Dylan Frazier was all over the attack that time. Went to the exact zero, zero, spot. Two a second time in as many rallies, and this one got punished. Side out. What do you think works particularly well for Johnson and Frazier in game one that? Zero, zero, I think one. they thwarted the fact that the Johns brothers know their game so well by playing better and taking advantage of balls that were left up a little bit, and the errors were more on the Johns side. Words we do not say ever. No. Johns finds the opening down the middle. Yeah, and that's the key. If you don't bounce the ball against them, then zero, forget zero, about two. it. So, 
Great job by Ben of just feathering that into the open court. Just long, a good attack from Dylan Frazier ran the body of Ben Johns. Same holds on the other side. If the Johns brothers can't get One, the dinks to bounce, they will pay the price. Another ball off the tape, and Ben is going to be not too happy about that. Well, this is the third two, time two, in a two. row that J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier have squared off against Ben Johns. Point. Matt Wright, of course, played in the Kansas City Open yes. for Colin Johns, so would have been three in a row for this partnership. But. Three, zero, two. Yeah, and then we had a, the brothers not communicating on a ball driven in the middle of the court. Trouble here. Ben can't see the lob. Oh, and Frazier grabs the line. What a shot. Four, nothing. Point. You know, I love the energy I'm seeing from these Four, two. They're two. obviously not going to be yellers and screamers, but uh, the pace that they're playing at is tremendous. Oh, my. Ben has had it with the net court here. Heat rate championships presented by Thorlo. JW Johnson and Dylan Frazier take game one, 11 7, up 5 0 in game two. A defensive timeout from the Johns brothers. Just called. And Johns goes right at Dylan Frazier. Gets him back for a couple of that. Dylan Frazier sped up on him. Yep, and that ball's definitely going to go deep, but just can't get out of the Zero way. Frustration level for Ben Johns continues as that ball was not hit clean at all, but stays in the court. Point. Couple extra. Steps not needed there for J.W. Johnson and uh, One, five, two. John's brothers are on the board. Will this start something? Point. You don't usually see Dylan Frazier's feet are so good to have two, an off-balance swing like he did there. Crucial hold, it felt like, for yes, Johnson and agreed. Frazier. You don't want to give the Johns Five, brothers two, any momentum. They can creep back in so quickly. Second serve. Way too much on those two dinks from J.W. Johnson. This seems important Five, here two, just two. to get at least one. Line. JW Johnson finds it 6 2 now for the 2 seat. 6 2 2. Point. The return is out. Colin Johns never misses. 7 2 2. Point. Another missed return for Ben Johns and an 8 2 lead for JW Johnson and Dylan Frazier. 8 2 2. Frazier was all over it. Top of the tape. Sign out. But they got three. Two, eight, and one. that backhand roll down the middle that just caught the, the baseline was huge because then two missed returns came with it. Johnson was ready for the first counter. Colin Johns wins the second. 
And there's determined face, Colin, right Three, there. One. They're not used to losing or being down. Johnson just sneaks one past Ben Johns. Yeah, and a little uh, chest bump push there from these two, and I just Three, love two. this matchup. Who is going to solve the puzzle quicker? And today it's been Frazier and Johnson, but still lots of work to do. Frazier gets a hold of it. Colin John said it was going out. Oh, of course it was, and that wasn't clean by Dylan Frazier at all, but uh, Eight, caught three, a piece one. of the 24-year-old Johns there. Oh, third shot lob. Oh, and that wow. is in. J.W. Johnson pulls out a third shot lob in his arsenal. Haven't seen that one very much. I just love the way he is playing today. If, if J.W. Johnson makes, Collins even frustrated with the tape and they won the rally. off the top of J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier making a run for it here in game two. They could close it out. Side out. Just long for Dylan Frazier. The reaction of the Johns brothers, he thought they might have lost. Well, they were point. just, I, I don't think they love the style that's being played against them. That was a wild swing there that went deep. Second serve. Why? What, what, what do you mean they don't like the style? Well, of the it, they're just getting Three, the, ten, everything taken to them here, and it's uh, it's frustrating them. Yeah. And there's a speed up too, and. I think the confidence to do that, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have that blasted back one. at you, but when you're up 10-3, why not? And the game point for the two seed. And they will take game two. Uh, two games to nothing on Ben and Colin being ship Sunday. Unfamiliar territory for the Johns brothers. Point. One zero two.
So much to unpack there, Michelle. The lobs <laughs> from J.W. Johnson are great. And then you see a little head fake dink inside Zero out from J.W. Johnson. We've been looking for him to add some offense from that forehand, and he is doing it. Second serve. Zero, one, two. A nice counter from Colin Johns on the backhand. Just strolling through the park on a Sunday and then just crushing a ball that is sped up cross court. Second serve. But the thirds today have not, I mean, they're usually 95% and they have not been anywhere close to that today. Point. Okay, we hear you. Scream from Colin Johnson. He knows. <laughs> I mean, that there are the margin for error is gone. And usually they have a little bit more room to work with. But Frazier and Johnson playing a perfect pickball game right now. Point. Just keep it. That's a ball yeah. he has been making. So. You just have to say, okay, no big deal, missed that one, but uh, yes, sir. I just love what's Three, zero, going two. on at the kitchen, the, the strategic choices both teams are making. from the forehand from J.W. Johnson. So he is looking for offense there. And Zero, three, one. got away with one potentially there, but a good start for the Johns brothers, three in game three. Second serve. And it's Frazier and Johnson who are money getting to the kitchen usually haven't been able to do it to start this game very well. Zero, three, two. Dinking that one caught. And you saw Colin Johns go for the scorpion, is expecting that ball in his right shoulder, right by the stinger right there. <laughs> That's just really, I mean, JW Johnson, this is fantastic. Frazier and J.W. Johnson come away with it. All smiles on their side. They make it a one-point game. I mean, that was outrageous. That's why we love this sport right there. More of those. Come on. Point. And I love the dichotomy of this match. You have the trying to figure out at the kitchen where can we pull the three, trigger three, and two. not all the strategy involved in that. And then once a ball gets in the air, it's flamethrower city. No, no. Just deep, but even the dinking right now for Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Low to the net, a lot of spin. It looks like they're attacking three, more. Three, one. Their targets anyway on yeah, the They're not on the just dinks. throwing it in there for the sake of putting it there. There's the rare error so far in this match. Feels like Johnson and Frazier really need to get out the door in three. I was here. just going to say the same thing. It, 
course, plenty of room to go, but you've seen this tale before with the Johns brothers rallying back. takes advantage <laughs> of that Colin, Colin John's hands like, finally. <laughs> I mean, and he thinks it's 7,207 to one. It's not quite that bad, obviously, but uh, no one hates the net cord more than Colin John's. Second serve. And just one point <laughs> later, he has to deal with it. Oh, it's like back to second serve. Colin Johns welcoming the attacks. But J.W. Johnson is not putting it in a place Three where it's getting one. countered just down. I mean, they know that he's going to get it, but they're ready for the next one. Where exactly is he placing these speed ups on Colin where it's working? So he's changing his spots, which is what's pretty. You saw Colin has got a good read on him usually and goes to the right side with that forehand for Three the scorpion and then it's on the left shoulder. And then he pulls it to the right hip so that both the height and the location are changing. That's so smart. Side out. There's a lot of tags in a match with players with so many good hands. Many of that Five, has come one. off the tape, admittedly. Second serve. Yeah. And the drives have not been real good here in this match from Five, Ben three, and Tom. Colin rarely will hit a drive on a third. Just try one there. I mean, that's one of those where you think, all right, here comes the Ben Johns freight train, and mm -hmm. they Three, just six, kept one. getting it back. I mean, that is not sped up. In fact, it slowed down in the middle there. That's amazing. Perfect sequence for J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. Every ball getting the Johns brothers slightly more out of position. Yes. And then he buries it down the line, J.W. Johnson, on Colin Johns, who is so frustrated. That, Five, that six, must one. have just grazed the tape on the way by. Side out that ball right there from J.W. Johnson, and what a great jump from six, six, wow. Dylan Frazier. It's like an alley oop sequence. Second serve. Miss into the net will force a second serve. Still tie game though, six all, and six, a big six, rally two. for Johnson and Frazier. For Frazier and the serve back on the side of the Johns brothers. So get it evened up, but again, six, six, it just one. feels like it's got to be this one for those two. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Oh Second no. Two. 
It's either going to work for them or against them. Oh, <laughs> these no. lead cords. Hey, happening on both sides at the moment. No, but the blood is boiling. 6-6-2. Six, six, See what a dink clinic looks like. There it is. Yeah, really well done. <laughs> Colin Johns is still slamming the ball down on the other side of the court there. Colin John. See, Colin, sometimes they work in your favor, too. Part of the game, right? Yes, the pickleball gods have a way of evening those out and Eight, touch two. down Colin. A graceful earning from J.W. Johnson. Yeah, stuck the landing at 9-9 <laughs> nine, nine from all the judges there. Pulls the trigger on Colin Johns. Missed one. One more chance to close the gap in what feels like a must win situation despite being up two games. Boy, and they've had a little bit of a problem getting to the kitchen here, and the scoreboard shows it. I mean, obviously, they'd still be up two games to one, but the level they've been playing at to be able to sustain that for five games. Miss swive for J.W. Johnson. And the Johns brothers, two points Nine, away six, from taking the third. Gonna be fun, you gotta qualify. Wasn't he tracking down a lob five seconds ago? That was amazing. Trusted the drop so much that he came flying in. 10-6-1. Second serve. Ten six two. for Colin Johns and a big hold for Johnson and Frazier. Can they get four points? Feels Six, like ten, this is all or nothing. Yeah. Chena Johnson gets one. Yeah, you don't see Ben show a shot that early. I mean, J.W. Johnson was just waiting in the middle for that Six, attack ten, and then finished it off in the next one. Again, the drop's just not quite as precise here. So they haven't had as many chances. And against the Johns brothers, you obviously aren't going to win all those dink battles. So you just need more opportunities so the math pays off. Side out. Colin got away with one there, and he knows it, but he'll take it. Johnson and Frazier get one, one point with two service chances and now another game point for Colin and Ben Johns. Second serve. Ten, 
10, 7, 2. Wow. Have another look at the defense of Ben Johns. Players. Game four, Johnson and Frazier played zero, zero, phenomenal in games one and two. Dipped slightly in the Johns brothers. Played a really good game three. Can they get back at it? Where was the biggest dip? Uh, they didn't get to the kitchen as much, made a few errors at the kitchen line. Zero, Otherwise, zero, it's pretty much the same. But those that's how you lose by four points. John's brothers on the board first in game four. One, zero, one. Wow. A floaty third that no communication took place there. This Two, is just zero, what the John's brothers wanted to make Frazier and Johnson a little uncomfortable here. there from J.W. Johnson. 2-0-2. Two, zero, two. No, Side out. The pressure from Johnson there. You said you loved the way he was playing in games one and two. Zero, two what one. specifically would you like to see after this point? Just Second clean turn. up a few of the errors, get to the, you know, get the thirds on the ground and, you know, and we're talking minor dip. I mean, Zero, it, two, this two. is one of the best doubles matches I've watched J.W. Johnson play. I mean, he's been really good. It's just that one controlling that ball, getting it on the ground. And now Colin Johns is smiling. That's the Zero, last one. thing you want to see. You want him just mad as a hornet at the at the net cord. And now an inch of confidence goes a long way for the Johns brothers. And now Colin is yelling. Okay, so you've got him Three, smiling zero, and yelling two points in a row. just perfect from J.W. Johnson, obviously, other than the finish, because he has found offense off the forehand. Wasn't there Four, most zero, of the one. year. Oh, yeah. oh that's pretty. Wow. Ben Johns. Timeout receiver. Effortless Five, touch zero, to the corner. Nightmare. It's oh. almost Halloween, and this is a haunted house right now here at Darling Tennis Center because Ben Johns. Expertise you Five, need zero, regarding equipment. Yes, call him up or go to pickleballcentral.com and check out all the new paddles. So many out there.
really good right there. My goodness. Six zero one. Point. Ben Johns is going off. Seven nothing. A statement Seven performance in game four. are creeping in there. 8-0-2. Side out. Johnson and Frazier holds, and if nothing Zero else, they need one. to gain some momentum heading into a probable, probable fifth game against these guys. So that stops a run of 13 in a row for Ben and Kyle. They won the last five point points one. of the prior game and the first eight here in game four. Point. Two, eight, one. They have Ben's full and undivided attention now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of those where you're like, I'd really like to go find the ball. And that's what actually Colin is doing right now. And why is that? We're rolling. I mean, there's some of it psychological. I mean, they are different. Those balls are sitting out in the sun. It is very hot out there. We haven't talked a lot about that. So. I thought they hid them from the sun. shady spot over there and then again is it a brand new one is it been used just a little yes, bit sir. all of that matters but uh, a lot of the time it's just psychological and there you see 91 degrees is going to get to 95 yeah this is October point okay, we'll much here. better yeah Johnson and Frazier are going to make a run for it trailing by four Four, eight, two. And then Ben Johns does that. Wow, and you don't see him have a combo where it's a two-handed backhand. It's usually a one-handed backhand, but when it's up a little bit, you can get eight, that four, full one. swing through it. That's powerful. Johnson wanted the corner, just misses. What a recovery from Colin Johns there. He was in trouble because Ben went for an Ernie twice and didn't get it. 9-4-1. Right there, good stab. And then to keep it safe was the key part of that. Four 
two. I think Colin's going to complain about that net cord, which just set the table perfectly. Yes, sir. Last minute inside out Ten and a two. game point for the Johns brothers. Looking for a fifth game on championship court. Home run for Colin Johns. Yeah, and again, two hit backhand, big swings there from Colin. Just couldn't Four, reload ten, the one. third one. to Five, ten, two. fly the way J-Dub had hoped. Another two in a backhand oh. counter, but that one stays in. So Colin is frustrated about the net cords and about the less than clean shots. That might have even hit in the smiley face there on that Six, paddle. Ten, Ten. It's a whole lot different. Seven ten two. Well, here I'd be stunned if you get a timeout from Johns. Point. Missed shot from Ben Johns, and it is a two-point game. JW Johnson two. and Dylan Frazier. They're not counting themselves out yet. Wow. Yikes. That was a tough miss for J.W. Johnson. 10-8-1. Second serve. Very Good. high third from Colin Johns there. This seems important for 10, the Johns 82. brothers. strikes first, J.W. Johnson, how did he come up with that? Yes, that reaction says it all. Because Colin Johns got his favorite shot Ten here, one. sitting on the two-handed backhand, and then the finish, he thought, but J.W. was there, my goodness.
point. Second serve. And you saw the retreat signal, the bugle sounded. Dylan <laughs> Frazier went flying back to try and deal with that. And then again, got in a good position and couldn't make the one after the overhead. Another try here. And the two seed will not get a point despite a well-earned effort to do so. Serve back to the Johns brothers. 10-8-1. Colin Johns ends game four, and we are going to distance. There's also a new rule. They have timeout, so they can challenge. But if they didn't, they'd still be able to. We'll now proceed with the review. Finally agree with you. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, here we are, game five to decide it all. Big opening point for J.W. Johnson. And important, and you heard uh, Mercher, their coach, talking about, hey, Zero you've got one. the momentum back, even though maybe you don't feel like it because we're playing the fifth game. But I think that psyche is important here. Second serve. Good hold for the Johns brothers. Zero, zero, two. And an early let cord to get Colin Johns going early in game five. Not just a let cord, a let cord that then tagged him. So uh, <laughs> the bear has been poked. <laughs> Oh boy, and that, that one slides off the tape and visions of game one are dancing in his head. <laughs> two, zero, two. Big play from J.W. Johnson. Love that they've had great energy throughout this. Yeah, the Johns are gonna throw haymakers at you Three, and zero, how two. do you deal with it? And they've come out and played a very strong start to game number five here. And Johns has something to say about that. They punch down the middle, side out. Yeah, and he's played a little Zero, more aggressive three, here in games three, four, and five, and obviously that has paid off. Ben Johns finds the opening, first down the middle, then he tries the line, gets it. They're on the board. One, three, one. You don't want to give them more than one here if you're Frazier and Johnson. Second Let's serve. it fly. Yeah, definitely. I'm not saying he's amped up, but his approach is different. One, three, two. Who, Ben? Ben, since, since game three started. Point. And there's that two-handed backhand where J.W. Johnson's trying to be a little more aggressive with the dink. Two, three, two.
Good pressure from Colin and Ben Johns at the kitchen. Another point, tie game. A very aggressive point on the ball being wide there from uh, Colin. Colin, where's this ball? Thank you. <laughs> three, three, two. Colin's feeling sassy today. Point. Again, that's what got you here, and it's execution. I mean, J.W. Johnson has found a lot of offense from the forehand, which wasn't there earlier in the year. Point. How do you feel about it now, Colin? <laughs> he is praying on a Sunday to the pickleball gods. Five, three, two. Five unanswered points for the Johns brothers. This is big here. They could switch ends with a three-point lead. Men's Devils title up for the taking. John's just owned the point. Yeah, that's one where let's mix one into Colin just because you can just tell on a Seven, rally three, like that, Ben is just, it's Geppetto. How do you feel about not well struck balls right. now there? Uh, that one just stays in there for Colin. He was late on this. Eight, three, two. is what Ben John started. The chest bump, and we got to change our TheraWorks point of the day. That was even better than the other one. Unreal. C-O. Time in. And Johnson Nine, three, and Frazier looking for a good return on this serve. They are banking on it. Sign the title out. hopes banked on it as well. A nice, deep, lofty return yeah. from J.W. Johnson that time. Paid off the Three vent one. return and right there needed it. Second serve. And that's another change that Ben has made. He's countering those backhand attacks two. more with two handed backhand there. Johnson 
pulls insane angles out of his wrist. Yeah, that's great because, again, the lob was effective. So Ben came flying in hoping to do something special, but it was J-Dub that had the final say there. And we are one hour, 41 49. minutes into this one. Ben Johns curves it to the corner with some heavy topspin. And they're two points away from another title. Championship point, Ben and Colin Johns. 10-4-1. Second serve. Next third, another championship point for the one seat. 10-4-2. Just to rub a little salt in the wound for <laughs> Colin Johns. And Colin can deal with that one a little better. If it was 10-9, he would have been incensed. Was the call from Frazier. Referee timeout. We have a challenge at the outlaw. And the oh. challenge oh. immediately from Ben John. Saw him starting over the sideline. I knew it wasn't a timeout line. call. The ground attack. Here's the verdict. Challenge is lost. A timeout is lost. One timeout remaining. One timeout remaining. We'll resume play at 5-10-1. Perfectly So described. if that ball was out, then the other one had to be out, too. I'm going to... Sorry. Yeah, we're can't harp on it. But in. that, to five, me, ten, one. that's a reviewable play. Got it. There's one for Johnson and Frazier. They need four more. Six, ten, one. Still on the first server. Ooh, off a perfect reset from Dylan Frazier. Yeah, Frazier's been terrific in uh, midcourt and getting up to the line. JW Johnson couldn't make it there. For Dylan Frazier, thought he had it. I did not. And he had did you say been beat. Side out. What a shot. Ten, six, one. Just missed. And another championship point for the Johns brothers. We'll end it. The Johns brothers 